Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with Long Claw and Valerian Steel where we always deliver. Well it's another beautiful week in Los Santos and some awesome content is coming your way. We've got double money and rewards on the MC Biker businesses and we're already up and running there so we're going to be cashing in all week. There are some exciting discounts and we've got the reviews for you so keep an eye on the channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell and look out for the new content every day this week. So let's see what we're starting with today. So here we have the Vapid Caracara 4x4 version. This awesome off-road four-seater is based on the Ford F-150 and is available for free on the podium this week at the Diamond Casino and Resort. I won mine last year on the podium and I've always been grateful I did. There are a lot of off-road trucks in GTA Online and this is definitely my favourite. I use this a lot as I'm grinding and moving around the map from one business to another. It's always a pleasure and a lot of fun to drive. So let's look at some of the customization. The front of the Karakara is very attractive with its raised hood and its very cool oversized grille options that's really similar to the Ford version. I love the suspension and the height of the wheels too, they are immense. And I've left a roof rack on the top because that will help with the traction control. Any of the off-road vehicles, if you leave a rack on the top, it acts like a spoiler. There's some very cool livery options too. Because it's a newer vehicle, you have a lot more to work with here, which is nice if you are into customizing your vehicles. So let's talk about the handling. On the tarmac, the steering is so super light with the Karakar because it has a very tight turning circle. Obviously being a 4x4 you'd expect most of the power from its inline 4 throttle engine to be evenly distributed and for that reason it feels very nice to drive. Although it's very light you get no pushback even if you're at high speed. Speaking of the speed the car a car is fast for an off-roader but in a head to head it's not going to beat something like the Comancho or the Night Shark but it is a very strong contender. It has been built for some speed and Obviously, it's a newer vehicle, so you have a far more technical specifications at your disposal, which means essentially that the Karakara adapts to its surroundings, and I love that. In an off-road scenario, the Karakara will feel very different, instantly more stable and very grounded, and you feel like you've got a lot more weight behind you. For that reason, it's a pleasure to take off-road, and even in a jump scenario where you're basically in the air and then you hit the ground, you really notice the power of the vehicle. And of course, the control as you hit the ground. Now this is usually priced at 885,000, which is a bargain. But remember this week, you can get your hands on this for free simply by spinning and winning. So why not give it a go? Thanks very much for watching. That's all I have for you today. Please subscribe and hit that bell for all the content coming daily this week. Please show me some love in this amazing community. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.